I want to talk to the pastors on this one next on the Metal Pulpit. All right, thanks for joining me for another Metal Pulpit. And if you're not a pastor, you're welcome to listen because this will give you a little insight into how pastors function and uh, quite honestly, the support that they could use. Um, last week, my wife and I were talking and we just noticed a lot of people posting on Facebook and conversations. Um, so-and-so happened, this happened, this person's sick. We don't think we're going to church. We're not going to church. Messages on a Sunday morning, um, staying home, um, and, and just so many things, okay? And my wife, as we were reading these and talking about it, I, I told her, you know, my week was actually kind of rough as well. And uh, I think I'm going to talk to my pastor and say, I'm, I'm not going to come in. <laughs> you know, pastors, I say that, but we don't have the luxury to do that, do we? Um, especially if you're part of a smaller church. You just can't call in and say, hey, I'm not going to be there. Now, a church that I was on staff at in Milwaukee, it happened often. I'd get a phone call, hey, we need you to take the morning service. I, I remember one time I was spent a week this happened twice. I spent a week with teenagers at a Bible camp, and on that Friday as I'm loading up the car, hey, I'm not going to be there. I need you to take service for me on Sunday. What? That happened. But for those of us that pastor smaller churches, we don't have that luxury. And I want to talk to you about that because you need to take care of yourself. You see, when I was a youth pastor, there was a person we called the youth pastor guru. Her name was Jeannie Mayo, and she's still working with youth. But she said every pastor needs to have a self-kick system. Let me explain this in a, in a little bit of a different way. Nine times out of ten when a pastor gets a phone call during the week, a Skype message, an email, um, uh, just so many different things, it's usually not to say, how are you? It's not usually to say, hey, I'm checking in. In fact, it's hardly ever does a person say, hey, I, I got open uh, lunch. You want to go grab lunch or dinner or or uh, breakfast, and, and a lot of times if it is that sort of conversation, it's, hey, let's go grab dinner, I need to talk to you. Okay, and so it's never, a, it's hardly ever a time where I wanna just go out and hang out, okay? Or even this, I just wanna go out and check in on pastor, see how he's doing, I wanna treat him to a, a dinner or an ice cream or something like that. So what do you do in those situations, Pastor, when you are bombarded all week with things and then you're dealing with your home life and then you're just at wit's end and you're saying, I need a Sunday off, but you can't. This is where Jeannie Mayo says the self-kick system. In other words, what are you doing to keep yourself um, motivated? Uh, a self-kick system is this. On a motorcycle, you have electric start on the newer ones. But you also should have, and a lot of them don't, have a self-kick system. In other words, if the, the automatic stuff doesn't work anymore, you can self-kick it to get it going. As a pastor, we need to have that self-kick system. So the question is, what are you doing to stay motivated? Okay, let me encourage you with this. Let me, let me perhaps even just throw some general things out at you. As a pastor, you're always preaching. I'm always preaching. I, I, I honestly cannot remember, and I can say this confidently, I cannot remember the last time I sat in on a church service and just took it in. I honestly can't. I went to a conference a couple months ago thinking I was going to hear the speaker just pour life into me. Nope. I, had to, I ended up having to get in front of everybody for 35 minutes and share what I'm doing in ministry. It wasn't what I expected. A good conference, but not at all what I expected. So, what do you do when you're not the one being ministered to? Now, we get kids pastors and other people all the time saying, I just need to take in a service. <laughs> pastors never take in a service. We basically do the service and that's it. Here's what you need to do. Books. Get into books. And I realize my library is really little. This is literally all I have in my pastoral library, but my Kindle is well loaded. Read a book. Get into a book. It doesn't always have to be a book on how to prepare that next message or sermon ideas or church growth. Read a book that has nothing to do about anything. Something that you can just sit down and get immersed into a fantasy world or a sci-fi adventure or anything like that. You probably won't hear that advice from too many pastors, but not everything you read, pastor, has to be a biblical book okay, or Christian living. Get into something you enjoy. Podcasts. This is why you have the sanctuary guys and uh, all of us to get enriched by hearing different takes and, and things like that. We now have intense radio. 
at uh, IntenseRadio.com. And you can uh, go to a chat room and fellowship with others and, and talk about things. Um, go on a little bit of a vacation. I realize that funds can be tight. But a vacation doesn't always necessarily mean Disney World. It could literally mean a staycation. Hey, I'm taking the next couple days off. I'm going to be at home. Don't bug me. <laughs> I do that with my church. I will sometimes just put on Facebook, I'm taking the week off. I'm on a staycation. I'm home, but I'm not home. Okay? I'm home, but I'm not available. Because there are, there are those weeks where you literally are drained and you need to take care of yourself. Well, some other ways too is just getting involved in other things outside of the church. Making friends outside of the church where you literally can go to a Rotary Club meeting or a JC meeting or uh, these are organizations we have in the United States, junior government stuff, where you can get together and enjoy a conversation about life and nobody's pressuring you. You get to just be that person who doesn't have to worry about any cares or anything like that and just take it in. Pastor, you have to take care of yourself, okay? There, we don't have the luxury of taking off on any random Sunday. If it's planned, absolutely. We can get in a guest speaker or things like that. If it's like throwing up, pooping, flu bug, everything, well, someone's going to have to pinch hit for you. But because you have the blahs or you're depressed or um, it's just been a rough week, you got to go to church and, hey, it's Sunday morning. We're going to preach now. And you need to stay motivated. So... If you need any ideas or you just need someone to chat with, I know Pastor Bob uh, Beeman's always available. I'm always available to chat with. You can send me your email, pastorbobadams at gmail.com. Send me questions, thoughts, encouragements. I'll send you thoughts and encouragements as well because, Pastor, you got to take care of yourself because your church is relying on it, your family's relying on it, and you need to take care of you. Have a great day.